We hope that, uh, that this does not get more violent than we have, than we have already seen it. They're not supposed to be there, uh, and we, we certainly don't condone that. Hopefully, uh, some of these folks will actually end up getting arrested and we'll know who they are. Going through a, pol a police barricade uh, or overrunning a police line is also something that is, uh, you know, yeah. certainly not to be encouraged. This is clearly, I think, crossed the line. This is a tragedy for America. This has to stop now. I don't, I don't get the point of anyone watching us or on social media excusing what's happened. This will go down as one of the darker days in American history. I think condemning the violence is important, solving the situation, and trying to figure out how this happened is all very important. Again, a national embarrassment, a national crisis, and mm -hmm. that's not a partisan view or even a journalistic view. Yeah. It's an American view. We here have condemned uh, violent protests and riots uh, of all kinds on this network. What really bugged me was the vandalism inside that you're seeing some of the video now, the vandalism inside the nation's capital. Completely unacceptable. And let's be quite, quite clear here, huh? We condemn the violence. We condemn it, all right? The people who did illegal things must be arrested. The images that I've seen this afternoon at the Capitol, frankly, disgust me. Violence has no place in our society. Destruction of public property has no place. Disrespecting law enforcement is not acceptable. This is un-American. This is not what we do. We are better than this, and we must denounce this. Congressman Jerry McNerney and Anna Eshoo have signed a letter to cable operators saying that organizations like ours provide false information ahead of the January 6th riot on Capitol Hill. In part, they say, experts have noted that the right-wing media ecosystem is quote, much more susceptible to disinformation, lies, and half-truths. Four right-wing media outlets like uh, Newsmax, One American News Network, OANN, and Fox News all aired misinformation about the November 2020 elections, end quote. Well, in response, we at Newsmax want to say this. Uh, the House Democrats' attack on free speech and basic First Amendment rights should send chills down the spines of all Americans. Newsmax reported fairly and accurately on allegations and claims made by both sides during the recent election contest. We did not see that same balanced coverage when CNN and MSNBC pushed for years the Russian collusion hoax, airing numerous claims and interviews with Democrat leaders that turned out to be patently false. Well, so if you were watching us and you're fair, then you would agree with us. You know, you all not only uh, broadcasted and reported it accurately, but the majority of your viewers agreed also that this was the most darkest day in recent American history. What concerns me the most is that these two members that are friends of mine, because I served with them, are now trying to suppress or censor fundamental First Amendment rights of free speech that the journalism community has and the American people have, have been beneficiaries of for over 241 years. This is also the basis of another bad precedent where we're trying to let government come in and censure what is going to be heard or listened to uh, or, or viewed by the, by the viewing public. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very concerned about this, and I think that um, you know, this will not hopefully see its course through to where we have censorship now of what we're allowed to view or listen through media uh, institutions. Yeah, I mean, Ford, if you don't call it censorship, what else would you call it? Well, it is absolutely censorship. And I think, Heather, in the statement you read, that's exactly right. This should send uh, chills down the spines of people because the Democratic majority is trying to stifle political speech and independent news judgment by bullying the cable providers into basically shutting off views that they don't agree with. I mean, this is really Marxist, fascist type of behavior, and they just want to try to piggyback off of the awful events on January 6th to do it. It is downright despicable and another tool of the socialism they're trying to, pr to, to push out there so that if you don't agree with them, you were wrong. That's a sad day because America was built on free expression. Yeah. Uh, Bob, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, it really is uh, troubling when 
Mm -hmm. One party uh, assumes to know what is right and correct and won't let the other party even uh, out for discussion. Yeah, be careful what you wish for, mm -hmm. right? Is that what they're doing this right. time? And then yeah. in the midterms, uh, uh, Congress, uh, they, they take it over, the Republicans take majority. Uh, 2024, a Republican takes this over, and now it's their turn to, to go after uh, the, the networks they don't like. Kristen, this doesn't seem like a, a good idea. No, it's absolutely chilling. This silencing of free speech is the greatest threat to our freedoms that we face today. It wasn't enough for the Democrats to win both chambers of Congress and the White House. They mm -hmm. now want to control what you can say and what you think. And anybody who dares to speak out against their big government left-wing agenda will be squashed and silenced by any means possible, whether it's through big tech, corporate America, or, or pressure from Democrats in, in politics. It's absolutely frightening, and people need to wake up before it's too late, and uh, we've let our freedom of speech go. Yeah, I mean, and Dennis, you mentioned that you, you know, worked with and know these two individuals. What do we need to do, or what can be done, to bring everyone back together and, and some sense to, to what's happening here and, and bring us back to a place where we're open to listening to both sides of an argument? Simple. Well, first of all, we have to we have to m m hold the, President Biden accountable for what he said in his inauguration that he is here to unify, yeah. and in order to unify, we have to be able to hear the diverse thought, the 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 difference in ideas. But we have to have the the decorum to do that, and and that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a major step. And I think if the Republicans start looking at how the American people want to see us come together and actually act on that, the Republicans will be even farther ahead than they most likely will be in the midterms in 2022. You know, the American public, uh, they, they don't mind a bad, you know, a, you know, a bad series series of events happening every now and then, but because they always know we can heal. Mm -hmm. We can heal through the process that our founders gave us so long as we have the freedom of thought and expression. That's what's going to be considered here is whether we're going to be able to continue that freedom of speech through thought and expression. Yeah. And Heather, you and I interview a lot of people through the whole job. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we, we tend to have folks that are the right of center and we let them have their say. We also have people to the left of, of center. But what does this make you think? You've been in broadcasting a long time. Yeah. I mean, I, I just... Like I just said, I hope that we can get back to a place, whether it be online, via social media, or um, broadcasting, where we want to hear both sides of an argument, where we trust that viewers and people are smart enough to look up the facts themselves and determine how they feel about an issue. But you can't do that if you're only being presented with one side. I yeah. trust that our viewers are smart, and I trust that they know how to look through things themselves, mm -hmm. and we should allow them to do it. Yeah, and just so our viewers viewers understand what's going on. There are members of Congress trying to encourage these cable companies to stop carrying networks like ours. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's what's going mm -hmm. on here. Is that really right. where you want to go? Yeah. I don't think so. And they're supposed to meet, I think, next week about it, and, and we'll see what happens for sure. But we definitely appreciate all of our viewers right here on Newsmax. And I did see another article that came out that talked about the increase in viewership that we've had, also OANN. So uh, somebody's doing something.